Hey guys, it's Brendan. We are back with some more prediction videos for the Summer Slam pay-per-view. This, the other main event on the card, John Cena versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship, a match that I have been wanting to see for quite some time, and a man that certainly deserves this push, this certainly deserves the championship, and that is Daniel Bryan. I am really, really hoping Daniel Bryan wins this one. I'm sick and tired of seeing John Cena as the champion. And I don't think John Cena needs the championship at all, but we'll get into that in a moment. So, uh, John Cena needed a new opponent. Opponent Brad Maddox, the general manager, allowed him to decide who his opponent would be. And John Cena picked Daniel Bryan, a man who is now a fan favorite, who's very, very over with the fans. Everybody is screaming out yes 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 every time he comes out he is over as fuck he needs that championship it is the right time to pull the trigger on Daniel Bryan if there ever has been a right time it is now his time is now as John Cena would like to say I think Daniel Bryan deserves the championship he just goes out there every week and kills it I tell you what I wasn't much of a Daniel Bryan fan but how can you not be he, the guy has won me over he is absolutely amazing in that ring and uh, his promo skills are getting a lot better I think uh, at first he was a bit dull nothing real special but now I think you know he can sell a feud on the mic as well as in the ring so I can believe that Daniel Bryan is a main event guy he may be smaller but we've seen guys like Mysterio Shawn Michaels you know come through and be legit main event talent Daniel Bryan is no different in my opinion and the guy just works his ass off in the ring and can can put on absolutely amazing matches. And that's one thing that the WWE has been doing in the recent history is putting on really, really good quality matches. And that's something that I've been very impressed with. And having a guy like Daniel Bryan at the WWE Championship is this going to make the WWE Championship matchup really, really good every single time. That's one thing that's really been lacking at the WWE Championship in the recent times, the recent pay-per-views. Probably going back and to uh, the Royal Rumble, maybe even beforehand, all the the match quality of the W Championship matchup has been pretty shit. I mean, Mark Henry Cena was okay. I enjoyed the first Ryback John Cena matchup. I think it was the Last Man Standing. The three stages of Hell match was pretty boring with Ryback. Rock versus Cena two was god awful. CM Punk versus The Rock at Elimination Chamber was average, and the Royal Rumble match. Was, was good up until the finish. So, there's a lot of things that uh, need to be improved on the WWE Championship, and that is certainly the match quality. And having a guy like Daniel Bryan with the belt will certainly improve that. I think John Cena versus Daniel Bryan will be, I wouldn't say a classic, but I think it has all the possibilities to be of a classic. But I think uh, it's going to be a true underdog-style matchup. And I think uh, if Daniel Bryan can pull through, it's going to mean a lot for his career. Let's face it, John Cena does not need the championship. He brings absolutely nothing to the table. John Cena should be a guy who's in main event, uh, high quality feuds with guys not in the belt. I mean, he can challenge for the belt, but he should not be champion. He does not need to be champion. And the thing is, the WWE has so many new guys coming through. So much talent, so many guys with big futures ahead of them. John Cena should be taking a step back now and letting those guys come through, letting guys like Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, the Shield guys, let them come through and let them have an opportunity to have the belt, run with the belt, and get them a chance to uh, show everybody what they can do. And it doesn't have to be the Cena show, which I do commend WWE for. It is no longer the Cena show. Cena will have maybe one segment a week, and it's basically in in the middle of the show and. You know, it's, he's not main eventing every single show. He's main events every pay-per-view most of the time. I mean, he didn't main event Money in the Bank for obvious reasons, but he he's no longer the main vocal point of the show, thank goodness. And I think uh, having a guy like Daniel Bryan with the belt, I think, would be uh, fantastic. But I do fear this is what's going to happen. I think Daniel Bryan will beat John Cena, and uh, Daniel Bryan will be down and out. He'll be celebrating. We'll have a hard-fought matchup. And you'll hear the I Hear Voices in my head theme song come out. Randy Orton will beat the shit out of Dan and Brian. Hit him with an RKO. Pin him 1-2-3 and will be WWE Champion. 
Simple as that. That will I am predicting that to happen. So Dan O'Brien will get the will get the belt for all of uh, two minutes and Randy Orton will come out and take it away from him and we will see the continuation of the Daniel Bryan Randy Orton feud, which I think would be a fantastic feud. I wouldn't I would not oblige to Randy Orton being champion, but I would like to see Daniel Bryan hold the belt for a while first. Um, I think Daniel Bryan deserves a long title reign. I think six months reign would be great for him. If uh, if not, at least three or four months and let him run with the belt, show everybody what he can do. And if you have him have the belt and it's, and it's a successful reign, you've got a brand new main event mega star, Daniel Bryan. The fans love him. Why not? I think uh, a true underdog story. Uh, I mean, a guy who's worked his butt off for years and years and years, finally comes through, wins the big championship, the championship that everybody wants to hold. I mean, what better story can you can you make from that a boyhood dream coming true I mean he has been world heavyweight champion but let's face it there's nothing like being the WWE champion so I think having that come true having Daniel Bryan win it and uh, walk out of SummerSlam more importantly as champion would uh, elevate Daniel Bryan and he could be finally seen as the as the, yeah, as the guy I mean John Cena has been the guy for years and years and years doesn't need to be that man anymore they've got guys who are just about ready to uh, break through the mold and break through the group and come through the main event scene that uh, they just need that one big feud to get them through. And I think that's what Daniel Bryan needs. I wouldn't mind seeing two or three matches between Cena and Daniel Bryan. I mean, maybe a screw job finish to uh, keep Cena the championship. And then uh, the next pay-per-view, which I think is uh, Night of Champions, uh, Daniel Bryan comes through, gets the belt, and then the Cena challenges for him again and loses. And then Daniel Bryan can go on to feud against Randy Orton or something like that. I wouldn't mind seeing that at all. I think that'd be good. Um, a couple of matches, you know, two, three matches would be pretty sweet. But um, I'm expecting Randy Orton to come out and uh, cash in the money in the bank, unfortunately, and take away the gold. So uh, Daniel Bryan to win, but not have it for much, for very long. So guys, let me know what you're thinking. What do you think of SummerSlam so far? Do you think it'll be one of the better SummerSlams in recent history? Make sure you leave a like a video, comments appreciate it, and uh, make sure you guys subscribe. More videos coming in the near future.